Put it on. Perfect. Awesome. Well, um, we'll go ahead and get started in the interest of time. The purpose of this Zoom is really to be action oriented and really just more of an intimate time of just working your business. So Christina and Lori, who some of you have gotten to know, some of you haven't met them yet, um, are two promoters that have been building this business alongside us for a number of years. Lori now over a year, Christina for almost five years. And they, what I love about them is that they just, they do the thing every day. They take action every day. They're um, on Zooms, they're learning, they're growing. And at the same time, they're teaching what they're learning. So they're going to kind of host the Zoom tonight, and I'm going to let them kind of just introduce themselves a little bit more. Um, but I wanted to uh, just get on here and say I'm really excited for what we're doing here because I think the more I've been talking to new people that are new, and a lot of you are brand new, some of you have been here for a while, the more I realize that like there's no secret to this business. You're like, what's the secret, Nick? What's the secret? It's simply repeating the same things that we're telling you to do over and over and over and over and over again. And for some, it happens instantly, right? Like they, you put up a post and you get 10, 20 comments. Uh, for some, it takes time to build that. We all start in somewhere different. Like we're all starting in a different place. We all start where we are at. So if you learn one thing from tonight, it's just focus on little activity and we're going to go through the activity, the stuff that you do on this Zoom, literally uh, you could do it every single day. And if that's all you did, you would grow a business over time. So you have to detach from the outcome. You have to marry the process, divorce the outcome, and then just focus on the little things that Christina and uh, Lori are going to take you through tonight. So as they're doing that, I'm going to put a kid to bed, but I'll have an earbud in and I'm excited for you guys to uh, take it away. So I'll turn it over to Christina. What's up? Me. <laughs> hey guys, <laughs> turn it over to me. I'm going to start off tonight. How is everybody doing? Lori Hart here uh, from Boston, Massachusetts. For those who don't know me, I've been with uh, prove it now for over a year. I can't believe I can actually say that. So I'm excited. Um, so we're going to start off, like Nick said, just doing daily activity that you can do every single day to grow your business forward. And I'm going to help you just put up a post. So I just want you to think about this for a minute. Have you posted today or yesterday? Sometimes we kind of forget that muscle um, to make sure we're being consistent every day with a post. So I always tell people we have about five buckets. They're yours. They're personal. One is ketones. One is family, and then three is maybe something else about you that you love. So those are kind of where you want to post from. So go ahead and look at your uh, Facebook page or your Instagram, wherever you're more comfortable. See what you posted between today and yesterday. If you have to put something up about ketones, awesome. And if you have to put up a lifestyle post, that's great too. Um, it could be walking your kids in the park, getting extra movement. It could be something specifically ketone related. And, um, and we'll do that for what, about three minutes, Christina? Five, you want to do five? Okay. So we'll give you five minutes to think about a post. It could be, if you hadn't posted about ketones, a picture of you holding some and just saying, oh my gosh, I'm so excited for my, you know, magic energy drink. It got me to walk two miles today, or I was able to play with my kids in the park. Or if you already posted about ketones today, post something else, maybe a family post or um, <clears throat> a hobby that you have or whatever it is. So we'll start now, give you five minutes. If you have any questions while you're posting, put them in the chat and we'll um, respond to them about like what to say or what to do. And we can do that. We can answer those questions. Um, also, if you're already done with your post for today, then work on a story if you haven't done a story yet.
Okay, so we have about two minutes left, two and a half minutes left to get up our post or our story panel. Everybody doing okay? Hey, Lori. Yes. So does it need to be like a picture holding up a drink? I'm trying to find one or does, are you saying just like, can you post a picture of like ketones or what? Just to, have you posted about ketones in the last couple of days? No, it was, it was, uh, it was last week when I posted, it was like, okay. so yeah, yeah. A, a, any picture that you have or a picture of you, it doesn't have to be ketones. It can be you out in the yard walking and maybe going through Disney. I'm so excited. I had my magic, you know, drink to get me through this long trip. Boy, am I feeling great to be home or just something in, in your lifestyle that references and creates curiosity around your drink. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And that goes along with a tip that I told you about last week where I take a lot of pictures of myself one day if I feel like I look extra good and I can have them on my camera roll with a couple of different shirts and just me in different places with a, a shaker bottle in my hand just so I can have something to pull out quick when I need it, so. All right, we have about one more minute and then we're gonna move on to the next activity and you can work on that too more, Amanda, after. So we're trying to build that muscle of being consistently posting on social media. All right, so everybody ready to move on to the next? Um, we are gonna grow, right? We need to talk to people, different people all the time. So this is my favorite part is growing my network. So um, I started doing this years and years ago where I add five to 10 people new every single day. But for tonight, we're gonna add three new people um, you can find them in Facebook Friends Recommended. You can find them through Friends of Friends, or you can find them through some groups, or maybe some people you have been chatting with in um, different groups that you're a part of. So we're just going to go ahead and send out three friend requests. So we'll take about three minutes for that. Okay. And if you have any questions, just pop it in the chat. <clears throat> And when you add new friends, just you can make sure they're not like I could go to my at my suggested friends and they're all a lot of prove it people. Try to add new friends, people that aren't in our company that or have a big network related to prove it.
Awesome. All right, we have a minute left. So think about adding five to 10 new friends a day, every day, that would be seven, 70 a week. Imagine what your network would look like by the end of the year. And if you continue to do that, you'll get up to three to 5,000 friends in no time. So I am gonna pass it off to Christina so she can introduce herself and just share our next two activities. This is my friend, Nick. All right, everyone, great to um, see you all. And thank you for being on tonight. I'm excited. I'm um, in Fort Washington, Maryland. And I have been, um, Nick said five years is not quite that long. He's been maybe, maybe he's thinking, I've been drinking it for five and a half years, but I've been sharing for about four. Um, so it's been a long time and I'm excited to do this because this is this is what we get to do and this is how simple it can be. Um, just to reference you real quick to where I'm, you might have seen this already. This is the post grow and engage checklist, the DMO checklist that's on the Better Starts Here group. You can download it and print it off or you can download it and screenshot it. There's details and then there's like checklists. So this is the things that we're doing are coming exactly directly from this. And you can use this um, when you're not on a Zoom with us or you can just replay this and do it again. But this um, engage part that we're gonna do now is something that we often recommend doing first. So switching the order just so that you can do it at this, the very first thing. So we say post, grow and engage because it sounds really flows well when you say it, but engaging the re reason why I want to do that first is because it makes it so that more people are going to see that post that you put up. So um, switch that in your mind just a little bit. We can do that better next time. And I know we, we should have thought that through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and start with engage. Um, in the future, we can do that. So now what we're going to do to engage is we're going to take five minutes and you're going to go to on Facebook, you're going to go to your news feed and you're going to start commenting on people's posts, your friends posts, non-prove it people posts, save that for another time. And this five minutes is just to respond to people who are posting, who are your friends or your new friends, old friends, doesn't matter. When you post a, something, a comment, make sure that it's something that's like five, six words. That's what the algorithm likes. Also a question really helps because then they usually will respond to you. So it's creating engagement, which looks like friendship, which is awesome. That's what we want to authentically do, build relationship. But Facebook also really likes that. And we'll start showing what you post to the people that you're commenting on. Um, so we're going to spend five minutes doing that. And uh, ready, set, go. Have fun reading your friend's posts. And this is great to put a timer because I can be stuck in this scroll forever. Mm -hmm. And just to backpedal, Christina, it's good to do before and after. So I guess we're okay. So we're sandwiching the post that we just made. Yes, definitely. <laughs> and you can do this three times a day. You can do five minutes in the morning, five minutes midday, five minutes in the evening, or whenever you have even like two minutes, scroll for a couple minutes and, and engage. And that will just make whatever post that you have had, more people are going to see that, that you're interacting with. But if you're only interacting with us provers, then we're the ones who are gonna see your posts and you are then preaching to the choir and, and won't, won't get any benefit from us. Um, we, we would love to be your friends and we will, but leave that for a separate time. Christina, we're just supposed to be posting, um, commenting to the, the photo or the comment that they put on there, correct? Correct, yep. What they posted okay. on, their, on, their, on your feed, it'll show up. Whatever right. they posted, if it's a comment, if it's right. whatever it is. Yep. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm.
Okay, we're at about two and a half minutes left. This part is fun too, because as you're scrolling, you're gonna be hearing about people's lives. And sometimes that allows you to get a peek into who maybe needs this in a really powerful way right now. Um, and that you might be able to reach out to later. So kind of pocketing, even writing sometimes down on the side of a, somewhere, a list as you're commenting um, that person's name so that you can follow up with them and check in with them and potentially talk with them about ketones. Okay, finish up the comment that you're on. All right, so now to engage, we get to say happy birthday. So you're gonna go to your uh, Facebook feed and not to the feed, but to the notifications, the bell at the bottom right if you press on that and then scroll for a while, I usually have to scroll for a while till I find it. There's an icon that's a little circle that is pink and it has a birthday cake in it. And once you find that icon, it's gonna show up on the left-hand side. Then you press on that and it'll take you to everyone's birthdays who've occurred in the last three days. Um, so you're gonna start sending them messages saying happy birthday. You can send it, say it on their wall. I like to have a personal message because then I can kind of go back and forth and I can remember more easily because it's not showing up in my notifications and then it feels more personal. Um, but whatever way you wanna do it is great. I also like to ask how they celebrate or ask them more questions. Um, and sometimes I wait till they say thank you and then I follow up and ask more questions so I continue conversation, but do it how it makes sense to you. What it feels good to you can make it, um, you can say it in a, in a voice message, you can even take a little video, whatever feels good. The video may be something that you take that you share with most, multiple people and not with everyone, it would take a long time. But go ahead and say happy birthday to everyone whose birthday it has been. Um, I even go back if I've missed this, which I try not to, but if I've missed this, then I'll even go back to the three days and say happy birthday three days ago. How did you celebrate? And it's already been their birthday, but then they get to remember it and it might have been a very positive experience and maybe it wasn't. So it gives you an opportunity to have that conversation. So we're gonna take um, just two minutes and say happy birthday. Sorry, Christina. Uh -huh. Where are the birth? How do you get to the birthdays? Go to your Facebook at the bottom, um, and then press on. No I can't really read this very well. This part, but bottom right, it says notifications. It's a bell icon, 
and then you're right. going to scroll until you see a bubble on the left that has a pink circle in it that has a birthday cake on it and press on okay. it. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yep. All right, now we're going to do one last thing before we hop off with you, and that is going to be invite to tomorrow night's guest call. So we're going to take time right now just to invite a few, but we want you to use this same process and invite more um, later to, as we get off or tomorrow morning or even up to, it doesn't matter, even if I sometimes don't get a chance in my day until right before and that is okay too, because sometimes people have time right away, right? Right in the mid moment, like, oh, I'm not doing anything. Okay, I'll jump on the call. So it doesn't matter when, it just matters that you invite. That's the most important action. So to invite, first, you're going to think about people in groups of, uh, of groups of people. Who do you want to invite? So you're going to think about people that you've never talked to, people that you're in conversation with, but they haven't made a decision yet, people who have a trial pack, people who are your customers, and who are really loving their product or just are your customers. And because building belief about what you're drinking is really powerful. And then also people who are customers who love, love, love their ketones might hear something that piques the opportunity for them to be as, as a promoter and to start sharing ketones. So I want you to write a list of five people in from any of those groups or choose a group to start with um, and take one minute to write down five people's names. Okay, give me a thumbs up uh, with virtually or in your screen if you have five people written down. You can use the little button that has the thumb too if you want, if your screen is not on. Okay, I see some thumbs, thank you. All right, we're gonna, if you don't have three, try to get at least three if you don't have five. And then if you have five, add another one or to keep adding. But I'm gonna drop in the chat right now um, a script that you can use. Now scripts are for the purpose of giving you language that you can tweak that make it and make it your own. So I have a script here that includes um, invite, but then what do they, what do you say when they, when they, say yes or no, so the follow-up to that. And then for the people who say no, but they're interested, then what you can say and how you can follow up with the guest, with the recording. So this is in the, in the chat, copy and paste it into a note in your phone so that you have access to it um, and utilize just the first portion, the invite portion. So don't copy and paste this to every person that, that you're inviting, just the invite portion. 
but you're going to ask people, this is for example, for people that have shown interest already, but haven't made any decisions. So are you still interested in learning more about ketones? We're doing a private call tonight to help answer questions and hear more about how this conversation is changing lives and creating a ripple impact. If I were to send you the call details and Zoom link, would you be interested in listening in? If I, would you? That's the magic language. That's the language that gets people to respond and say something instead of let me know. Let me know just leaves it up in the air and they don't have to respond to you. There's no control. You don't have control. But if you say, if I would you, then they will say yes or no. And uh, you get to then respond accordingly. So send that. And before you respond to anyone, send through your whole entire list and even maybe some more as you're, as you're sending to your list and then start responding. Um, it's okay. Okay. For people to wait a little bit to, to hear your response. Mm -hmm. Right, so we're gonna spend um, three, we're gonna spend, we're gonna invite three people. So at least three people from that list. So we're gonna take, it shouldn't take more than one minute because you're gonna copy and change their name or you're gonna put, hey, Susie, and then put that in there. Um, so I'm gonna give you two minutes just in case you don't have that list yet. So two minutes. Also, if you have been using your Rhino tracker, this is your magic for inviting because you're going to look back to this and see who you've written names in that you might have forgotten about. That This is so helpful, especially when you've been talking to people, maybe someone on the airplane, maybe someone over here in the store, maybe someone on Messenger, someone over here in Facebook, and then ah, there's people in every place. This keeps them all in one place and then lets you just go through and invite, 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 invite. Yeah, love that. Take another 30 seconds. If you're done with that list, invite two more people. Think of two more people in your phone, on your messenger, scroll through, Find someone else that you can invite. Even if you have never talked to them about ketones, say, hey, we're having a call about the thing that's changed my life or that's changing my life. If I were able to grab you the, the link, would you be interested in listening in? It's tomorrow night. Super simple. Love that language. We're having a call about the thing that's changing my life. I love that. Genius. Yep. And then all you get, and then they're like, what is that? <gasps> if I were to send you a video that explains it, would you be interested in watching it? Then you're connecting them to the resources. These are all the connect tools. So our calls, our videos, this is the C in A-C-E-E. -E. This is the attract. You're doing the attraction. You're already doing that. Mm -hmm. Now you're doing the C and the C is the connect piece. That's so important. And when we miss the C, we miss out. We miss out on that validation piece. All right. So we are done. We are, we are, we hit it on the nail of 30 minutes tonight. Woohoo! Good wow. job, Lori. Good job. <laughs> Great job, everyone. And so now <laughs> this is the same thing that you get to repeat. And you can see, we talked a little bit of those minutes and we probably took out some of your like energy space for those minutes. So when you have focused, devoted time in those minutes, this can be something that you do in pieces. It does not have to be all 30 minutes at once. It can be, po it can be the engage at one point. It can be then posting at another point. It can be then the growing at another point. Make it in bite-sized chunks so that it happens and plan when those chunks are going to happen um, and then build it into your routine that way. That's what I've had to do and it, it works. It's, a, it's building a muscle. It's repeating that muscle and celebrating it when you're doing it. So celebrate yourself. Good job, everyone. I need to see everyone give me a high five right here and Lori, because 
we have to celebrate. You are all <laughs> yeah. amazing and we cannot do this without each other. So that's awesome because tomorrow someone else is going to talk. I'm not talking. Someone else is going to talk and validate the conversation for people that I'm inviting and for all of you. And that's so exciting. This is something we get to build together. Um, so celebrate your wins. It's a win that you were here tonight. It's a win that you did this activity tonight. And now just repeat it and get yes. into consistent action. Awesome. Um, you can stay on if you have any questions. I think Gloria and I will be on for a couple minutes after. Um, but we are done with the activity. Have nice job, night. everybody. Have a good night. And if you need extra help, we'll be here for a few minutes. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. And Maria, we will um, be, this is recorded right now. So I will stop the recording and it will.